Okay, so here we have some traditional, these are traditional Polish meals, correct? That's right, traditional Polish foods, best sellers of this place. Best sellers. So before we get into that, because I always like to ask the audience a little bit, so you, we'll start with you. So you're originally from Poland, right? I am, yeah. And how long have you been here in the States? I've been for, for five years already in the States, yeah. It's been five years since I moved to the States. What's the biggest difference in life in Poland versus life here, would you say? What are, are people different? What's What are some of the big differences? People are very different because they're way more open here, but the life difference is I, I think how how easily opportunity comes here and how really? how easy it is to find a niche for yourself, you know, to find to feel uh, to feel like you're doing something you wanna do. Okay. And it actually makes you money and you make a living off of it, you know? It's just the craziest idea that you can think of that everyone will laugh at, laugh at it. Uh, if you if you live in Poland, it will become a reality here. I will, yeah. I can, You're not the I'm first actually, person to tell me that from other that's cultures. That's also about music, you know. I uh -huh. would say, you know, you can have your genre, you can have your idea, you can have an accent, you can be from a different place, but you can create yourself. You know, mm -hmm. you can have your own project, and in Poland they would laugh. Even really? in London it wouldn't be that easy. Okay. But here it's very open-minded to try. It's not easy to make it. Though. Right. Yeah. Well, no, nothing's easy in life, but you have the opportunity here. Yeah. The opportunity definitely comes very easily. So you said you you were from Poland too originally, yes, correct? Yes, yes. And how long have you been in the U.S.? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay, and what would you say is the biggest difference? Mm -hmm. Same thing, like the opportunities here are different in the U.S.? You no, know, it's just more... You need to be more to like tolerant. Tolerant? Is that tolerant, uh-huh. Yeah. You need to be more open-minded because everyone's from a different place and have different behaviors, different traditions. You mean here in the U.S.? Yeah. Okay. In Poland, we are mostly Polish people. Now we have lots of Ukrainian people too. Mm -hmm. But we are not so open-minded sometimes because we got used to living in, in our own bubble. I was that's talking to a lady from Korea and that's what she was saying because she's like, well, all we know is Korean. So when other cultures come, we're like, well, we don't like that because yeah for you know how many years it was just us yeah so i guess that could happen with any culture yeah also we disappeared from a map for 123 years and we kept right. our community going and we rebuilt kind of the country so it's a very it's very important you know in poland yeah polish people in poland are very focused on being polish they really just, they just care about being polish uh, they're very patriotic yeah they really care about the country itself okay so they're very proud yeah. of like and also at the same time it just feels like the country that they create is not for everyone it, okay so it's yeah. kind of exclusive yeah that makes sense. It, it feels a little bit exclusive to polish people yeah sometimes like it depends who you are if you fit and you're not like different then you then it's like all good but even as an artist you know it's sometimes you're like what are you doing with your life <laughs> oh really yeah. is it like you need to be a doctor or is that is it yeah, kind of not, with, not with my family they're very open-minded but, but but with me i will sometimes. say though with me i will say though that i i always had this idea of a, a bakery of a food business i always liked that and no one ever told me from my family that it would be like a serious idea for a business. It was always, oh, you're good at school, so keep going that way. Be some kind of an engineer, doctor, like finish right. as much school as you can. Just grow that way rather than even think about that food business, which after coming here, food business was first thing that came to me and it, it really worked out for me and it's just growing. Interesting. Yeah, so it makes sense. So the things that we have here in the US that you could pursue music food Whatever other places would probably like laugh at it like that's not oh, yeah. real. That's not you can So that that makes sense because when I do talk to people from other cultures they'll often say the things you can do here If you were to go present it where I'm from they would look at you like you can't do that. So yeah, and, and sometimes Interesting. Like in music when you make it here you go back to Poland everyone is so happy you know and they start to open up for this new idea ah so lots of ideas come from the US but we usually here it starts here so I wanted to come here and see ah. if I can contribute somehow it's very interesting. Wow, very did. Are people generally friendly in Poland? I would say because you know some cultures like you don't. I was talking to someone and she said like where I'm from, 
you don't talk to strangers at all. You know, here you could be on the side. Hey, how's it going? You'll just small talk. She said where we're from, we don't do that at well, all. Well, we definitely don't do small talks. No. Definitely no. Just, just glare. Just pure <laughs> glare in the, in the street. Just a glare? Okay. Well, it depends. It depends. I'm very talkative, so it's easy for me to talk No, to she people. is, but she's built differently. <laughs> <laughs> and my family is like that, especially my grandma, you know? Yeah. When she starts talking, yeah, she knows everyone. <laughs> really? Interesting. Very in How big is Poland? Is a How big is the country? Is it? I'm wondering what you're... I'm curious what the population is. Million? How many? Well, 30, 38 million people. So it's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest, but it's size wise, average. It's, like it's just as California, as big as California. Wow, that's. Maybe that's why a lot of people in the U.S. don't travel because this country is so big, huh? Oh, yeah. Like when you think about how big the U.S. is, like your whole country is California. Yeah. Yeah, so interesting. Okay. I just want to say the music's on. Is that okay for your. That should be fine. Okay. It's not loud enough. It okay. should be fine. So it's not yeah it's not loud enough so yeah describe to me what we uh what some of the meals here are let's look at that first one there that what is that a cucumber plate uh right here this is called miseria it's a cucumber salad it's it's very simple it's pretty much sliced cucumbers uh with salt pepper sugar and there's sour cream dressing with dill on top of it okay and so that's the, the veggie side okay <laughs> of what we eat and the <laughs> the rest what we got here this is Polish sausage, kielbasa. Okay. Uh, it's made of pork, it's smoked, and okay. then it's grilled. Okay. And Americans love it. Okay. They just... Well, Americans obsessed. like anything but, meat. But this this thing particularly, this is one of the best sellers. Just kielbasa, as, as kielbasa. funny as it sounds. I love kielbasa. Yeah, but... Kielbasa. It's so obvious to us, it's just kielbasa, <laughs> whatever. Sausage. Okay. Uh, but... This kielbasa is really delicious, right here. Good branding. It has good branding here in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> Brand branding? branding? Branding. Yeah. It's oh, okay. Like, like people talk about certain Polish foods, like okay. in TV shows. Like you keep hearing it. Okay. And as you realize, it's really a lot, and it's always those items actually right here. So it's always about kielbasa. Okay. The next thing, pierogi. Pierogi. So those are Polish <laughs> dumplings. Okay. Uh, we got mushroom and sauerkraut filled ones. We got potato cheese. We got ones with beef. That stuff is another obsession. Yeah. Okay. It's just it's just delicious, you know. It's like juicy inside. They saute it in the pan. So it's also a little bit crispy on the outside. Okay. Uh, it comes with onions on top. It's really, really good. You gotta try it in a bit. And what is that one right there? And the thing right here, uh -huh. so this is potato pancakes. Uh, we call it platski in platsky. Polish. So platski that can be served sweet with mm -hmm. sugar on top, or they can be served with some kind of savory sauce. Okay. It's more of a side or like a snack. Here we got some with um, sour cream and with applesauce. So it's just, they're just potatoes? Uh, potatoes, a little bit of onion, an egg to combine it, okay. and, and they just fry it, deep fry it, pretty much. Interesting. Okay, yeah. and what are these here? These are more dumplings? Yeah, that's also pierogi. That's, that's also pierogi. Yeah. We have so many types of pierogi. Yeah, we have Poland. three types in total uh, okay. right here, here on the table. We <laughs> have in Poland, beef, we have like we have 30 types. 30 yeah. different types of pierogi. Well, we, they make a lot of pierogi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a tradition to make pierogi at home all the time. What's the most popular one back home? Potato and cheese. Potato and cheese. And mushroom and sour cream, which oh. are both here on this table. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so let me pause that. 